Hi there and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at whether you should use Python or Java for your next project. So first of all, let's start off with a basic introduction to both the languages. So Python is a powerful general purpose programming language which implements many third party libraries to try and cater your needs. It emphasizes query readability with its use of significant indentation and the use of many different English keywords. Java, on the other hand, is a high-level object-oriented program language that is designed to have as few implementation dependencies as possible. So in this video, we'll start off by looking at the basic differences, then we'll move on to the performance, leading on to the syntax, and finally, ending off by looking at the jobs and salary. Also, as you've probably noticed by now, I'm not the new Boston. My name is DA, and it would mean the world to me if you'd go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It should be the first link in the description. Thank you so much for that, and let's get on to the video. So first of all, the key differences. Now Java is a compiled language, so its code is directly converted into machine code that the processor can then execute. On the other hand, however, Python is an interpreted language, hence the interpreter needs to run through a program line by line in order to execute each of the commands. This means that the scripts written in dynamically typed programming languages can compile even if they contain errors. If a script is written in a static typed programming language, such as Java, and it contains errors, it will fail to compile until the errors have been fixed. Now, in terms of speed, Java is a lot faster than Python just due to the fact that it's a compiled language, hence it takes less time to execute the code. The main reason is that Python is an interpreted language, hence it has to determine the type of data at runtime, which makes it a lot slower. Let's now compare the syntax between the two languages. In Python, to output the string hello world, you need to use only this one line of code. However, in Java, you'll need to write all of this out. The main reason for this is that Java is an object oriented program language, so everything in the language has to be an object. Lastly, let's have a look at the jobs and average salary for Python and Java developers. Now, to be honest, both of these languages are extremely popular. However, Python takes on the lead by around 7,000 for the average salary, and there are about 1,000 more Python jobs available than Java. So, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to both mine and the new Boston's channel. Thank you so much for that, and I'll see you next time.